So we're getting close to the end of mechanics. We have three lessons to do for next week before the break. Mm, three yeah, so we should be we should be so on target. Do, so we can do now two lessons? We, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's not that easy. Right, okay. Collisions. What means collisions? Collisions? Collide, crash, oh. smash together, oh. big accident. Well, not destroyed. We won't go <laughs> that far. Do you know this word, collision? It means like when two things come together, two cars, like two cars. Collide. 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 Yes, the verb. Collisions is the noun. Crash. Yeah. Okay. Ah, man, sit up. <laughs> I collide my coffee cup with your face. Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's a no, no. I said coffee cup. Okay, so that's not violent. I said calculator. Okay, there's a big difference oh, between is, this and this. Like some hot coffee. This is hardly hot. Uh, I promise you, it's been here an hour. Right. Okay. Collisions. Uh, right. Okay. So just so you're clear. This is what I mean by collisions, like one ball hits another ball, something like this. Yes, it, yeah. <laughs> this is a special type of collisions in physics. Is that, uh, is that which, no, is which, is that which is between two masses? That's not a sentence. Uh, between two masses, and there's no external force. So what I mean here is um, the ball collides, but there's no other force pushing it, okay? So it's just like one is moving and hits. There's no outside force, it's like this. This moves along and hits this one. Maybe they move together. Yeah. I don't mean there's, a, there's no outside force, okay? It's all just one moves, one moves, and they crash, and that's it, okay? There's no pushing. How did they start moving? Yeah, so to start moving, maybe they were given a little force to get them moving, but then that's it. There's no force after that. Yeah, just like with the football. So, uh, the moment after uh, you kick it is what we're looking at. Anyways. Um, do you remember what momentum is? Momentum. Yeah, momentum is this. So I think you missed it. Maybe you missed it. Momentum is M V. This is momentum. Uh, momentum. So first rule we have for this lesson. Yes. Write it. Start writing this. Uh, that's as close. This, um, where have you seen this word before? Conservation. Yeah, and what does conservation of energy mean? Energy only transfer you can yeah. energy from one place to another. No, yeah, that's all. So, so, what do you think conservation of momentum is? You only uh, transfer. Yeah, the momentum stays constant as well. So, conservation of momentum. During a collision between masses in a closed system, the momentum will be conserved. This means it doesn't change. So, as a formula, we have this. You might look familiar. So, you have two M's. Why do you have two M's? M1 and M2? They're both two masses, yeah? And the U1 and the U2, the speeds at the start for both of them, then they come together and they crash, and you have a V1 and V2. So this is momentum 1, momentum 2, equals momentum 1, momentum 2, before and after. This is the conservation of momentum. Can you see how it's like 
K E yeah. one plus P E one equals K E two plus P E two. So that's one plus Yeah, M one U one plus M two U two equals M one B one plus M two B two. What are you asking me? No. Um, where M one is the mass of the first object, of course. M two is the mass of the second object. U one is the velocity of the first object at the start. U2 is the velocity of the second object at the start. V1 is the final velocity of the first object. And V2 is the final velocity of the second object. Now you don't need to write all that down if you know that. Mm -hmm. This is what we need. Okay, do you have this formula? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Continue? Yeah. Now, roughly speaking, there are two types of collisions. Two types. They are uh, elastic and elastic. Very good. Elastic. Elastic like a crashes. Uh, yeah. Two objects. Together. Yeah. That's all of them. So there's always two objects crashing. This yeah. is the collisions part. So elastic. Does anyone know elastic? Elastic. Like like no, no. You don't know it. You just told me and you don't know it. So elastic. They, they don't break. No, 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 not this. They won't. Um, no. Elastic means no kinetic energy is converted. So uh, if you want it as a formula, elastic means Ke1 plus Ke2 at the start equals Ke1 plus Ke2 at the end. That the kinetic energy doesn't change from the start to the end. This is elastic. So then what do you think inelastic means? Not, not change. Uh, the, the opposite. Yeah, the opposite. Change. So some kinetic energy is converted. So if the kinetic energy stays the same, you call it yeah. elastic. And if the kinetic energy changes, mm -hmm. you call it inelastic. Did you write this down, my uh, right. Come on, write it down. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, really, there are two key ideas here conservation of momentum and types of collisions elastic, inelastic. So, we have enough to actually do some questions now. Again, you can draw or write. So here is the question I want you to write down or draw down. What would it make a difference? It doesn't, uh, doesn't change what you do, but sometimes the question might ask, like here, like what type is this, elastic or inelastic? Yeah. So um, write or draw this. Trolley, you can draw it like a car. Yeah, yeah trolley's like a car. Trolley is a car. Like a toy car. It's it, uh, when you go to the shopping yeah, trolley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this, supermarket. Is, this is a shopping trolley, which is different yeah. to a physics trolley. <laughs> yeah. Physics trolley is like the little toy car on the, the bench. Yeah, you push it, it, it and it rolls along. It has the same meaning. Like, no, 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 there's two in English, be careful. Oh, okay. Shopping trolley is the one at the supermarket. Yes. And trolley, in this context, means a small toy car. You would have seen them in physics labs. 
for experiments with Newton's law. You know what I mean? No, are you sh are you no, sure? Yeah. Okay, well it's a small toy car. Okay. Yeah. Small toy car. Oh, okay. Stationary? No, Not moving. Now that's important. When they collide, they stick together to make one. Yeah. So maybe there's like some blue tack or glue. When they come together, they click together and move away. Mm. Way this makes it easier to do. No, but uh, when uh, when you go to the supermarket, it's the same trolley. When you it, it, it all I know the trolleys can click together. Okay, if you really <laughs> want to, you can make the shopping trolley. That's okay. <laughs> It's not going to change what no, you do. You've got the same, like the work is same. Okay, that's fine. You <laughs> can make it a shopping trolley, and then the shopping trolleys click together and move away. That's fine. <laughs> so fine. on the right side of the lenses, it's going to be yeah, well, multiplied by two, which is three because two plus one. Yeah, that the m is going to be three kilograms yeah. because that's a total. Yeah, but it's it's like m one v one. Both are three? Uh, no. I'll, I'll do it in a minute. I just need you to write or draw it down. Did you draw or write? Yes, Let's I see. Draw, I draw it. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh -huh. do, do. No. no. Nearly. This one here is zero. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't write me. Oh, okay, fine, <laughs> fine. Um, stationary means zero then. Okay, can I do this one? Yeah. Yep. So, this is what you should draw. So since mirror, you really want it to be a shopping trolley, we'll make it a shopping trolley for you. Okay. So we can put our we can put our food <laughs> in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Uh, right. <laughs> so, uh, what was the speed of this one? Did I say three, three. three meters okay. per second? And this one here was zero. zero. And uh, the mass? One, one kg, and here two. two. 2 kg. So this means there's a, like a sandwich inside of it or something. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, um, what happens afterwards? They click together and they stick together. So it'll. So <laughs> Focus, please. Focus. Thank you. Okay. Right. So they click together and they make one trolley. And uh, what is the total mass here? Uh, 3 kg. And the speed? We don't know. No, we'll call it x, for example. How is 3 kg? Because the two of them come together. Oh. So it's 1 plus this one here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, so write this. Yeah. Why can't it be together? Yeah, why together? Because in the question here, it says when they collide, they stick together. <laughs> you know when you go shopping, the trolley, you can push it into yeah. the other or trolley. Or in the airport. The airport. Or in the airport. <laughs> they <laughs> click together. <laughs> 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 No, and then you push it and you leave it alone. It doesn't really. I know, I know. Okay, look, it's not. It's. Uh, I only said shopping trolley because he wanted a shopping <laughs> trolley. No, no, Let's no. see what you did. So no, if, you want, <laughs> if you want, if you want, you can just make them two toy cars, and there's like a little click here, and then there's a little thing here. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Right. Maybe. <laughs>
If you prefer, that's fine. Okay, now, uh, we have to use conservation momentum. So in this picture, this is before the collision, and then this one here is after, after the collision. After the so, uh, what is the momentum of this trolley? M1, M1 U1, one. 3 multiplied by 1, so 3 multiplied by 1. And what's the momentum of this trolley? Zero. zero, yeah, well, how did I get that? Uh, zero, zero multiplied by two. There was no energy. No momentum. After the collision, there's just this. So it's, I know the formula is M1 V1 plus M2 V2, but really, it's like there's just, shh, you need to listen to me, Mahmoud, okay? Listen to me. So after the collision, there's only one of them. So in the formula you don't have to write two parts, just one part, because it's like there's only one now. So what is the mass of what I have after the collision here? Three, and it's velocity? X. X. Can you get the X here? Yeah, I think Easily, easily. What does the X equal? One, one meter per second. Yeah, three over three, yeah. Now that's the first part done, I think, is it? Um, yes. What is the velocity afterwards? Now what I want you all to do, this next part should be super easy. I just want the kinetic energy before and after the collision. So before, it's this kinetic energy plus this kinetic energy. And then after the collision, it's just this kinetic energy. So that's zero. So it's actually just this one and this one. I want you to calculate that. Write both answers down. Okay, but just write it down. Mary, just write it down. Yeah. Just write it down. Write it down. Before and after. Yeah, I think. Why? Because in the first one, the, the velocity is 3, and the second one is 1. So in the first one, its mass is 1, but here it's 3. Yeah, so what's the formula for no, kinetic energy? Half m b squared. Oh. So you see, you're not thinking. Yeah. Just do what I ask you to do and write it down. You need to you trust me. The, Shh. No, no. Shh. Trust me. The Just the write it down. No, I want to see the first one. There. Yeah. Okay, so that's this one, yeah? yeah? And this one is zero. Did you get after the bottom? Yeah, B and C, please. Hey, don't ask them kite. Ask me kite. I know how, okay? <laughs> so, no Arabic, just English. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Don't ask kite. I know how. That was the best. Do you have the answer? I can show you. What did, let me see what you did. I want to make sure you got it. So, you got the first part of uh, now. Yeah, so that's joules. Don't forget the units. And now do the part C after the collision. Okay, do before and after. Okay, can I see? After and before. <laughs> Why not? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you got it there? Um, <laughs> yeah. One. Uh, don't forget square. Yeah. Uh, it's the elastic. Why? No, no, no kinetic energy is converted. Yeah. Why? Because it's the same. Which one are you doing? It doesn't move or it doesn't change. It's this one? Wait, I think it has something to do with the ion. Plus this or this change. The amount of that means there's some sort of. Oh no, you're separate. Oh, yeah. Don't trust them. 
These yeah. are two. I think Do this one? Yeah. 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 After V is one point. Yeah, yeah. No, the V is one. One on your way. Yeah. That's a one. That's a one. <coughs> yeah, okay. Look here. Why? That's the one. Yeah, yeah, why? What do you mean why? That was the first part. Look, that is right there. That's oh, yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, wakey, wakey. Right. What's the energy before the collision? 4.5. So for B, it's 4.5 joules. And after the collision? 1.5. 1 1.5 joules. Why is why? Kirch. A half M B squared. Uh, the one is one four point five. Yeah. But you don't need to calculate the uh, one. Yeah, here, here. A half M B squared plus a half M. Uh, B squared. So, uh, so all of this is uh, zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andy, you're happy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Now, part D. We can do this together. Is it elastic or is it inelastic? I think it's inelastic. What type of collision is this? This is inelastic uh, because. because yeah. Okay, uh, from where we got the 4.5? I am not answering that, because <laughs> he just asked me that one minute ago, and I answered him. Didn't you just ask me that? Yeah. So you can ask him, okay? I'm not repeating myself. I'm sorry. You need you to be listening to me after. 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 Yes. Yeah. After, 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 after. Okay. okay. Right, next example now. So the answer for the last one is in elastic, because... Uh, kinetic energy was lost or changed. If it is elastic, the so you must be the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but not be like not, not be bigger than. It can't be. It can't be. It can only be the same or less. It can be elastic if it's the same. If it's the same. Yeah. There is a famous uh, question for this. The bullet fired and then... Yeah, in fact, I think we'll do that one. It's a classic question. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a classic <laughs> physics question. Classic <laughs> physics question. Okay. Um, next now. Uh, right. So, I think there's one more to do, and then that's it. So, that's not too bad. I want you to try this one. It's, it's a harder than the last one, but I'd like you to try it, okay? So, let me uh, first... I want you to draw it, and then I want to check that you drew it right. A white snooker ball traveling at 2 meters per second strikes a red ball. After the collision, the white ball is nearly at rest, and 10% of the kinetic energy is lost. So. Now, do we go the wait, 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 wait. Uh, probably, because they're, they're the yeah. same. Um, look here. Please note. In the first part, I said estimate. What does this word mean, estimate? Yeah, yeah like roughly. Yeah. Roughly. So, to estimate, if you want to make your life easier, I said in the question, the white ball is nearly at rest. So you can make it zero here. But then in part B, I say exact. So that means you can't do that trip. Exact means perfect answer, not... So A is zero. Uh, so for this one? No, A is A. For this one you can say it's zero, but for part B, don't. And then for part C, that's just a short question. So try it. It is a little hard, but I think you can, some of you can do it. First draw it. I want to see what you draw. You know, Mushiris, please.
please stop using Arabic, okay? You can ask me what the word strike means. I can easily explain it, just like he can. I can also do this, okay? But you can ask me in English, okay? Yes. Let me see what you do. Let's have a look. Yeah, so for the first part we can say it's zero. Yeah. So for the second part we can't. But we still need two balls here because they didn't join together. Yeah, it's, uh, so, it's so, like like they, so they really go in. Like yeah, they still draw it in. Yeah. So this one, this is V1. Yeah, V1. And this is, v no, no, uh, which one's going to be at rest? The white one. Yeah. And V2 then it moves away here. Yeah, so the white ball comes in and hits this, and then this moves away. And in part A, you can say this is zero. So, so we'll do M1? Yeah, just the regular one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we don't have the map. Oh, we'll cut off. Their snooker balls are all the same mass. So they can. They can. Yeah, so all these M's are the same. Yeah. No, 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 no. What's this? What? No, no, no. What's this? What's this? No. What's that? It's better people. be one. Yeah, did you draw it? Let's see. Right. So, yeah, this is the white one, this is two, and this is the red one. And then draw the after picture. Yeah, this is right. Now draw the picture after. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want you to draw. So, what happens is uh, this is the white ball, and this is the red ball. The red ball is at rest. And the white ball comes along okay. and then hits it and then this moves off. So Yeah. The so the white one comes along, hits and then this one moves off. This one's not moving. So this one will give its energy the, the speed to this it one. It gives its momentum. Yeah, momentum for the two meter per second. V two. For the first part, yeah. Second part. No, for part A. For part B, yeah, I'm asking. Oh no. Because in part B not all of the momentum is given because in part B this is still moving a little bit afterwards. Um, I'm going to do it in a second. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, see yeah. what we have here. Okay, we'll, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can use this formula. I've got two. Yeah. What? Nearly zero and then two? I mean, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. Like, this is a great. And we hit it. Please, you know, no, 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 I think it's actually so please we'll get the momentum of this one. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what it was. But I think A is the estimated speed, and we said it's nearly two, uh, it's nearly zero, correct? And then find the exact speed that's I better do it, I better do it. Okay, I'm going to do this one now. So if you look, in part A, the white ball is moving with two meters per second and then the red ball is at rest. Yeah. Then what happens, this hits this ball and after it hits it's nearly at zero and this one then moves away. We don't know the speed, I'll just call it V2. Yeah, okay, V2. We'll get to that, don't worry, we'll see. Uh, Alright, so, what is the momentum here? Like 2m yeah. plus this one, 0m zero. Zero equals this one, 0m yeah. plus v2m. Cancel, 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 cancel. So, v2 equals now, V2 roughly is 2. So that's part A. This is what, I think this is what you were trying to say. That if this is moving at 2 and it hits the red ball, and the first ball is stopped, then the second one would be at 2 as well. So in other words, it's like, well, no, we'll get, uh, but we don't, uh, we don't use that until the B part. Yeah, the first part is just a estimation. estimation. Yeah. So basically, all the momentum from the white ball perfectly transferred into the red ball. Mm -hmm. 
Not realistic though, but that's why I said estimate. And it's good in physics sometimes to estimate, so when we do the real answer next, it should be nearly yeah. 2. Yeah. It shouldn't be like 10. If it's 10, then we did something very wrong. Right? Okay, can we go to the B part now? Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at part B. So in part B, we make it more realistic. Um, again, we have our white ball, which is M, and our red ball here, which is M. This one is going at 2 meters per second, and this one is at rest. Then after the collision, this one is moving slowly. We'll call it V1. And then this one here is moving quite fast. And we'll call it V2. Previously, we said V1 is roughly 0 and V2 is roughly 2. When I do it this time, my answer should still be nearly 0 and nearly 2, but we're going to be more accurate, yeah, more specific, okay? So, let's use conservation of momentum. What's the momentum here? 2m plus 0m equals V1, uh, V1m, doesn't matter, plus V2m. Cancel cancel, 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 cancel. So I have V1 plus V2 equals 2. Now what is the problem with this equation? Two unknowns. So we need to make a second equation. We have to find one of them and we can then find the other one. In other words, we need a second equation. The 10% we can use. Yeah, so I told you 10% is lost. So let's calculate the kinetic energy so at the beginning. So can yep. we write uh, what, 10 over 100? Yeah, we're going to do 10 over 100 for the kinetic energy. What is the kinetic energy? I'll write KE start for the start. Okay. It'll be a half m2 squared plus a half m zero squared which equals well that's gone isn't it yeah. two squared to four, four, to four divided two by two two, two m what's the kinetic energy at the end now this is a little trickier it will be a half m v1 squared plus a half m v2 squared ah so that's not as nice as this is it but still, this is what we have. Now, so I'll give you... We don't have the M. Hmm? We don't know the M. We can't because you can't, uh, in the KA part, sub 10. Sub in 10. 10? Yeah. For what? For KA part. 10? Yeah, yeah. Why 10? Because they tell you it's a kinetic energy. Ah, no, I didn't say 10. I said 10%. Yeah, so if I said 10, yeah, we could then say this equals 10 joules. And then you're right, we can get the M and everything's great. But I made this difficult. I said 10% <laughs> of kinetic energy is lost. What I want everybody to do is I want you to write uh, some formula with KE start and KE end that shows the relationship is 10%. In other words... I want to see what you can uh, make from this statement. 10% of the kinetic energy is lost. So I want to see how you can make that an equation. Yeah. Yeah. See no, no, write it down. I want to see what you write. Right. So you have something, yeah? Show me. Where? This one? No. Using what I just did, the KE formulas, how do you put them together? But it is not. But you mm -hmm. could try though. Did you make something? Yeah, but uh, is this KE or what is this? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but use KE. Yeah. And KE start and KE end is what I want to see. 
so it will be yeah you can will be start and it will be end output is the given I won't tell you I want you to decide did <laughs> <laughs> you write something on this no no <laughs> did you make something <laughs> Uh, Maybe it's not right. Okay, yeah, it's not right here. Alright, look. You think you can get it? Mm. Okay. So remember, I said 10% of KE is lost. So we get like. KE minus 10% equals KE of the Yeah, you almost have it, yeah. Well, you do have it, but it depends exactly how you wrote the equation down. So you're right. 2 m equals V1 2 squared 12 plus V2 squared minus It's the minus 10% part that's causing you trouble. How do you... Minus 0.2, because 10% of 2 is 0.2. Oh, so you can do it like this. Yeah, okay, these are all great ideas. So we're getting there, yeah. Let me write down what I was thinking. Um, so 10% is lost. So uh, what you were saying, Adnan, is that uh, you got 10% of this number, uh, which would be 0.2m. And then what did you say? Ke start minus Ke at the end. That should equal 10% because that's how much was lost. 0.2 m. If you wrote that, good. Okay, not good. Cool. There are many ways you can write it though. Another way, so this is one possibility, or maybe you said this K E end over K E, I think this is what you were going for, start. Multiplied by 100 equals 10. 10. 90. Why 90? Oh, lost and then 90. 90. Yeah. 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 No, but the first one is easy. Yeah. Because here you have to use, be careful. <laughs> yeah, okay. Careful. This needs more thinking. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we, we'll continue with the first formula then, yeah? So, we have 2m minus a half m b1 squared minus a half m b2 squared equals 0.2m. What can I cancel? Um. The m's. Um. And I think I'll multiply everything by 2. So I get 4m minus b1 squared minus b2 squared equals 0 0.4 oh sorry I shouldn't have the m here yeah. Yeah. so now I get v1 squared plus v2 squared equals 3.6 well we've gone to a key step we have this equation and we have this one. The first one is uh, 2m minus half m. This here? Yeah. 2m minus a half m v1 squared minus a half m v2 squared. Have you seen this type of problem in maths? No. Yes. No, but, but yes. No. Yes, you have. Just know where the Watch. If I wrote this down in math, x plus y equals 2, and x squared plus y squared equals 3.6. One quadratic and one linear. Yeah. Okay. So, shh. Have you seen this in math before? This one? Have you seen this in maths before? This one? Yes. I saw it, but the other I did not see. It's the same. V1 is like X yeah, and V2 is like this in math. Okay. Yeah, so when I said yes you did, I was telling the truth. 
Okay. Now, what's the best way to solve these two? Sub Substitution. So um, here we can say V1 equals 2 minus V2, right? From here, V1 equals 2 minus V2. Isn't that true? And then what do I do with this? What's next? Could you write it down? down oh, sorry. The second equation, yeah. I mean, the first equation. V, I'll write it down here? Yes, please. Okay, all right. So, V1 plus V2 equals 2. So, here, I can say V1 one equals one 2 minus, minus V2. Minus v2. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I do with this? If I will sub the value in the second. Sub in here. Yes. yes. So, now I get... 2 minus v2 squared plus v2 squared equals 3.6. 4 minus 4v2 4 plus v2 squared plus v2 squared equals 3.6. 2v2 squared minus 4v2 plus 0.4 equals 0. So I have two answers for V2. 2 pi 1a minus 1 pi 1 at 0 pi 1. 2.18? Yes. Or? 2 pi 1. 2.1? Yes. Or? Mm, minus 1 pi 1. 0 pi 1. Minus? Minus 0 pi 1. Okay. Oh yeah, minus is okay. Minus 0 0.1. Okay. And then for the answer for V1, how do I get V1? We'll put, the value put it in here. And I'll get V1 equals minus 0 0.1 yeah. or V1 equals 2.1. Now, which possibility is the right one? The yeah. first or the second? Second. Mm. Give us a second. Yeah. yeah, thinking is good. In fact, I think I should give, bring you to look at the picture again. I think that the second one. Which one should be the one that's nearly zero, and which one should be the one that's the nearly two? The first one. Yeah. The white should be nearly zero, the red should be not zero. Yeah. Yeah. So after the white ball hits the red ball, the white ball moves backwards slowly, and the red ball continues forward. And when you watch snooker, sometimes you see this happening. The white ball hits. I can do and you can do that? Great. Yeah. So the ball hits it and then maybe afterwards you see it rolling backwards as the other one continues forward fast. Okay? You can make it stop. I can do it. <laughs> sorry, I have no achievement award for you for this. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, first let me show you the questions, okay? <laughs> Come on, Matt. Show some respect, no, please. I'll start it because. Yes. Uh, when we find the first answer of V2, oh we can exactly which is right. Yeah, it must be plus because if it was minus, yeah. then it means it's yeah. <laughs> passed through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is another reason for knowing, yeah. Um, can you just listen? Um, look, uh, Fulon gave another reason for choosing it. The V2 must be positive, because if it was negative, it meant that the white ball went through the red ball, and the red ball moved backwards. Quite impossible. Yeah? Okay. Right. Um, Yeah. <laughs> if you want to take a picture, you can. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, hang on. There's wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, no. There's a word cut off here. Right. Whatever. Good luck trying to do so. <laughs> here, by using the conservation momentum, find velocity the bullet block mass. That would say after the yeah, no, no, no. collision, likely. Yeah. Yeah. What is the anything what? Uh, I think this word is probably collision, but I can double check for you. Let me just double check. 
Uh, what's your party you're having? Just a weekend. Still waking up early. A weekend party, right. <laughs> uh, I'll just double check here. Find the velocity of the bullet block mass after the collision. Um, yeah. And Mir, as promised, question two is the I gun question, question. yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the first one is like it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, did you get this? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, get out of here.